Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I said, somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it, because that's how we do it over here. Folks been asking me, they said, so, so, madame, they said, what's going on with the John Witherspoon situation? They say something just don't seem right. We know that he was 77 years old, but something just don't seem right. John Witherspoon, we gonna jump right into it. John Witherspoon was born on January 27th in 1942. And he was born in Detroit, Michigan. John Witherspoon was one of 11 siblings. He had one brother by the name of William Henry Weatherspoon, who used to be a writer for Motown Records in the 1960s. He had a brother by the name Cato Weatherspoon, who was a longtime director of the PBS TV network channel, Channel 56 in Detroit, Michigan. And John Witherspoon, he also had a sister, by the name of Dr. Gertrude Stacks. And she is known as being a renowned evangelist and a pastor of a Pentecostal church in Detroit, Michigan. Some people may know of her. When we used to see John Witherspoon, we used to associate him with just comedy. Oh, he can make us laugh and that's all he know how to do. That's what we used to associate him with, comedy, being a comedian. But most folks didn't know that John Witherspoon, he had a passion for music. That's right. I said he had a passion for music. And he eventually learned to play the trumpet in a French horn. He said, she is shit. It's just something about them horns that get my motherfucking soul moving. Ah, catch it on fleet. Now, some folks don't know that before John Witherspoon start acting, he used to be a model. That's right, he used to be a model. He said, I know I'm sexy, shit a bitcha. Let me make me some money modeling these motherfuckers' clothes. John Witherspoon, he went from fashion modeling to stand-up comedian over motherfucking night. He said, move over, Richard Parr. Here come Johnny. Catch it. During the 1970s and the 1980s, John Witherspoon he started stand-up comedy. He started his stand-up comedy career. And most folks remember him from the Death Comedy Gym that was aired in 1993. Y'all remember that? Shit, Death Comedy Gym. I used to try to watch that every time I could. One thing I can say about John Witherspoon is, just like Bernie Mac, listen to me closely, just like Bernie Mac, it was easy for John Witherspoon to become an actor because he was so hilarious. He was a hilarious comedian. And when he starred in, in, in those Friday movies, I don't know about y'all, but he just stole a piece of my heart. Huh, we loved him in them Friday movies. When he played Pops on the Wayne Brothers, that was just the perfect role for him. He knew how to play his role. He knew how to fit in and play his role. John Witherspoon, he went on to play in other movies, such as Boomerang, Vampire in Brooklyn, y'all remember that? Soul Plane, House Party, and the list goes on. Y'all ready to go deeper down this rabbit hole tonight? I said, are you ready to go deeper down this rabbit hole tonight? Well, come on and let's do it, because it's definitely something down here that we gonna find. Yeah, John Witherspoon, he was funny. And we can't take that away from him. But trust and believe, he played the game too. I said, John Witherspoon, he played the game too. Out of all people, I want to just break some things down to your overstanding. Out of all people that he could, could choose, John Witherspoon chose David Letterman to be his kid's godfather. That's right. 
Paul said John Witherspoon chose David Letterman to be his kid's godfather. Somebody say, what's wrong with that? Now I don't know about y'all, but I know how to see down a rabbit hole. Y'all just don't make somebody the godfather of your children. You don't just make somebody the godfather or the godmother of your child if y'all don't have some type of relationship. Oh, you better listen to me tonight. David Letterman was the one who taught Pops. I said Dave Letterman was the one who taught John Witherspoon how to play the motherfucking game. He wasn't the only one, but he taught him how to play that game a little bit deeper. And John Witherspoon, he chose to fuck a play. I said he chose to play the game. See, that's why you got to know when somebody wearing a mask. And you got to be aware when them motherfuckers mask starts slipping on your ass. That's why I be talking. And I be telling y'all. I said I be talking and telling y'all this rabbit hole go deeper than what y'all know. Y'all just got to know how to put it all to the fuck together. Now y'all know how we do it over here. The proof is always in a pudding. I'm going to take y'all deep the fucking night. I said the proof is always in a pudding. Let's look at the death day and the death age of John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon died on October 29th in 2019. Let's add those numbers up. One plus two plus nine plus two plus one plus nine equal what? That's right, 24. Two plus four equal what? Six. John Witherspoon died at age what? 77. Let's add that up. Seven plus seven equal what? 14. One minus four equal what? Three. Put it together. Let's put it together and what do we see? The three six motherfucking murder by number. I ain't done yet. I ain't done yet. We're going to break it down some more. Let's talk about this. They told us in the news reports that he died suddenly. They told us that, 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 that John Witherspoon died suddenly. That's the, what the reports told us. And they couldn't even tell us the reason why he passed away. Oh, we better learn how to see. I said, we better learn how to see. I'm teaching you how to see the fucking night. John Witherspoon, listen to this. John Witherspoon, he got his own TV series called Cooking for the Poor People. Go look it up on YouTube. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it in a link. Cooking for Poor People. Now, when you go to his YouTube page, I want you to check out something. I said, I want you to check something out. When you look at the video section on his YouTube channel, you see that John Witherspoon, he ain't posted no YouTube videos in about one year. In about a year. Then all of a sudden, John Witherspoon, he just posted a video on his YouTube page one day before he died. One day before he died. It was all a fucking setup. I said it was set up for him to be sacrificed, y'all. And the last video he posted on the YouTube page was a setup as well before they took him the fuck up out of here. John Witherspoon, he tell us who sacrificed his ass. I said he tell us who he was sacrificed for, but some people missed it. Now I put the video in the description so you can check it out. I want y'all to see this. In the video, he said he getting ready to do another Boondocks TV series. And he said he getting ready to do another Friday movie. I want to ask you a question. When is Ice Cube coming out with his last Friday movie? That's what the movie called, Last Friday. When is Ice Cube coming out with that movie? Uh, that movie is supposed to be coming out April 26, 2020. Let's add up that date right there and see what we get. April 26, 2020. Four plus two plus six plus two plus two equal what? 16. One times six equal what? That's right, six. The last Friday movie 
is supposed to be released on that date, which would be the 25th anniversary of the original film. The 25th anniversary of the original film. Two minus five equal what? Three. Put it together. The three and a motherfucker six. Murder by numbers. John Witherspoon was a sacrifice for Ice Cube in his motherfucking movie. I'm trying to tell y'all last Friday. He was a sacrifice for this movie coming out for Ice Cube. I told y'all these rabbit holes be going deeper, but y'all got to put it together, right? I want y'all to go do some homework.